We now meet the artists behind COG, Ben and Johnny. How are you guys doing? You alright? Good, thank you. So, um, I just played it now. It looks fantastic. What were some of the inspirations behind using the colours that you guys use? Okay, well, um, I textured the two robots um, in COG. Uh, we have the smaller one, which is Mandy, the floating one, and you've got the larger one, which is Billy. Now, with the colours, we, because the whole environment's rather blue, we want it to be a little bit more simple and for the viewers to be able to see it clearly. So we use a lot of um, whites to show this and a bit of black. And we wanted the two to have a little bit of a distinctive color, two different ones. So we made Mandy orange and we made Billy red. So that way you kind of have a little bit more of, a little bit more life in the both characters because the whole scene is rather blue. Now with Billy, um, the eye, the eye for both Billy and Mandy are different colors from each other. Um, this is just to make it a little bit more contrasting so you can visually see it. So what made um, the decision to use like a smaller one and a bigger character? What was the inspiration to use that? Like? We wanted to differentiate between the two and play on the strengths and weaknesses of both characters. Uh, the bigger one is a uh, power display in the animation. It's big and clunky. And I wanted to show that it's a hard robot that is very... Um, like stable and it's not going to be knocked over. Where Mandy's uh, our little robot, she's very fragile, very floaty, and can be can be destroyed quite easily. So they've both got to use their abilities to navigate the terrain and um, complete the level. Fantastic! Yeah. Uh, I can also see that um, the way they're designed as well. Like um, the big one, obviously, being a bigger size, it can't jump as well. Yeah. So. With, like when you were discussing the characters, did you make a backstory to them, or is there a backstory to them at all? Or? Um, yeah, there's a backstory. We have we have a bit of a backstory. Um, we've been tossing up between it. Uh, I think the one that we most favoured was that uh, Mandy actually found uh, Billy, like a um, one of the last robots from the factory, and they both needed to use each other to escape from his factory. Uh, that's great. And so you, you've taken that sort of. Um, story and made them who they are today basically, right? Yes. So, um, with the story, um, with Billy, the bigger robot, um, because he's one of the last ones, he's not very intelligent, but he's, because he's back from that time, he's there to be more muscul uh, muscular and to push things and to really defend kind of the factory that they're in. Um, but with Mandy, because she's more new tech, um, she's more smart and she can interact with the, the plugs to make bridges go on and she knows what she's doing so she's trying to help this bigger robot to get out of this factory and kind of experience what life is right now. Um, so with uh, Billy's shield, was it uh, like to have such a huge shield in front of him, what was the reasoning behind that? Like... I, I guess it was just how, how he originally came up with the design. We did have a feature that he was going to use the shield as a platform which is why we made it so big. But uh, unfortunately, because of a deadline, we had to we had to cut that idea. Um, yeah, to be honest, I actually thought of that as well. I thought, is there some sort of mechanism, or will there be a, like, a puzzle where I need to sort of use this? But so, so I think, yeah, if that might be um, included later on, I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something to take your point in. Um, I mean, our first kind of design on this, it was intentional to have the platform being raised up. Um, but yeah, because of what we had to deal with. Um, there's been a lot of things cut for this uh, due date, um, but after, who knows, we could chuck this back in. Well, let's hope. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. And yeah, like I said, great game, and I hope to see it uh, you know, at the shops very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.